Hey everybody, what's up? It is Martika from Martika Bray Bar. So today I want to share an experience that I had with a client. Story time. So I've had uh, this client um, in the past. I think he has come to see me about five times looking back at his history forms. And today, like any other booking appointment, um, this client is pretty reserved and um, initially I got a call I haven't seen this client in some time I got a call today and he had asked to book an appointment and when he reached out he asked he said that he wanted a specific service done so I he arrives and in the moment when we're about to start he says I want to change my style to six braids. So he wanted two strand twists for his locks. And then we ended up doing six braids. Now, I have always said this in the past because I'm very aware. I don't like to change hairstyles in the moment because most cases, clients are very indecisive and they do not know what they want. And in that moment, when they decide on a style, at least 85% of the time, when you complete the style, they're gonna be dissatisfied because they're indecisive. They're not sure what they want. So do not change the style in the chair. Confirm the style, for me at least, I confirm the style, I make sure that the style that they want is solid, we're locked in, and that's what we're doing. When you come in, you know exactly what's getting done. This is, all of this is not new information. This is information that is on the client intake form that I have uh, during every single booking process. So each time you book, the form will pop up, you read through it, it, you sign it, and then you can move forward and we move forward to confirm the appointment. So all of this information is on the form. I've had many people reach out and ask, have I experienced all of these scenarios? Absolutely, yes, I have. And to be honest with you, it does cover my behind because these are situations as small as they might seem that do come up. So in this case now, so also I have on the form, I'm gonna pop it up, I'm gonna actually attach it here. Um, it says, and I'm just paraphrasing, it says that you, it, we're gonna be doing the full service. It's going to be a step-by-step -step service, which means I'm gonna include you in the service. You're gonna engage in the service. You're gonna see what's going on. And I try to do this for all of my clients. Even if you're a returning client, I do it. I do a video, I stop, I do a video, I show you what's going on. You have a look, you confirm I don't like it, or you confirm I like it, and I move on from there. And this is mentioned on the form please communicate with me that you like the style or you don't like the style everyone has their own preference and i don't care how good of a hairstylist you are people have their preferences and just because your work is good it doesn't mean they're gonna like it so the best thing to do to work with your client is to make sure that they're seeing what's going on and they can confirm if they like it or not so with all of that being said i've had this client multiple times not a new client, they've booked, they find the form, they've read through. They're also more of a reserved temperament. So I have never gotten too much communication, but I, I have always delivered in the past. And this was the very first time that this client in particular changed the style on spot. And um, I very rare do I make exceptions. I made exceptions today because it's not usual for my client to do or this client to do something like that, like to switch in the moment. But I just accommodate it because it was just it wasn't anything too tedious. And so I was able to go ahead and deliver what he wanted. Once we were finished, as usual, I was filming the process because I love to put back background music, but I also showed him the video before he got up out of the chair and he confirmed and we moved forward. At no point did he say to me, I don't like it. I'm not happy. I'm not satisfied. You know, 
um, this is not what I wanted. He was very specific. He wanted the edges left out because he was going to go to the barber. The edges are left out. Everything is in video. So um, everything is there. He wanted his edges left out. His hair was done. He paid and he left. I had another client and I get a notification on my phone. So I'm getting a notification of a review and I'm in the middle. I see the notification briefly and then I'm in the middle of another client. So I finish that client and then I have a look at the review. The review is a negative review. He's unhappy. If you want to take a look, you can go there and see for you. Now, I don't base my worth or my value of my services on reviews. I always love um, people commenting and giving feedback. And to be very honest with you, I am open to people sharing real transparent experiences. So if this is your experience, whether good or bad, you have the right and you have the right to do what you have to do. Now, when I read the review, I was shocked because the first thing that came to mind was you did not say anything you were quiet and i i i don't know but i try my best to communicate and i understand that everybody is not a communicator i've had personal issues in the past communicating and i've developed the skill of learning how to communicate but in business you need to be able to communicate your especially when you're dealing with people so even when i can't speak I have things written so people can see and I always make sure you can follow up with me. You can ask further questions and it's all in written form. So if you have any issues, I reinforced on the form to speak up, speak up. I also do videos and I show you the video to engage you in the process and you speak up and you say you don't like anything. Communication is so important. And that's why I love to talk and I love to express myself and I love detail and clarity. And when people ask me, why is your form so detailed? These are the reasons because there needs to be clarity and everybody's situation is different. This person went off and literally was upset and it was so shocking because I got a text message the person took photos home and they sent me just a bunch of photos they didn't say hey look i don't like my hair there was no communication there's absolutely no communication through text even after venting through the review there was no communication through text hey i left the review you don't even have to say you left the review but there was no communication that you were upset. He just sent me a bunch of photos and it's just complete passive aggressiveness. And it, that wasn't necessary. The, the simple thing that could have been said is, I don't like my hair. I'm not satisfied. In that moment, I could have said, okay, what don't you like about it? Okay, what would you like fix? Okay, let's take it down and let's see what we can fix. In that moment, you speak up. You don't pay and walk away and then act passive aggressive or upset and not communicate your needs you are spending your money so you need to communicate there are times i've done people's hair and i know my quality of work and they want something a lot different from the quality of work i delivered i don't like to compromise my work but at the same time if somebody wants something i'm going to do it if i can do it, i'm going to do it and it might not reflect my quality of work but it, it might be what they want Add to this, in the past, uh, this client loves to style their locks without getting retwist. And I highly re recommended getting retwist to clean up the roots and then we style the locks. He does not like styling his locks, like retwisting his locks and getting his hair style. And when you don't retwist the locks, then the style is not going to look clean. The parts are not going to look as clean because you're doing it on unintentionally parted hair always style locks by retwisting and then style this is why stylist's recommendations are so important because the stylist knows the outcome and when the client refuses they end up being unsatisfied and it doesn't end up looking good or polished as they want it and how the stylist know it could look retwist so i'm very self-aware and obviously this is not something to dwell on it's a learning curve but at the same time 
it was an excellent opportunity um, to call out a scenario that I've highlighted on my form. And I literally stressed communication. And it's my duty to deliver, but it's also a requirement for clients to deliver. Now, when people think it's just here, why do we need so much rules and so much booking? It's not just here. It's dealing with people. It's dealing with people with different expectations, dealing with people with different um just different visions of what they want and to be able to come to an agreement. And I always say this, and I will not stop saying this, sometimes it's just not a good fit. The stylist and the client are not compatible and it's just not a good fit. And that sometimes it really boils down to that. But if this is an excellent opportunity to um, reassure and also highlight the main reason why I have these boundaries and these borders and these forms. A lot of times it might feel like heavy fences, but I'm self-aware because I've been through experiences. So I know, and it's not one or two experiences, it's multiple experiences where I've evaluated and seen where, okay, like for example, something as simple as I do not take clients changing styles in the chair. Why? I've had been asked that. Why don't, why, why can't I change the stuff? Because I know that 85% of the time the outcome is going to be they're not going to be happy with their hair so if they say hey i want um, pop smoke braids and then they change your mind i want straight back it has nothing to do with the pop smoke braid they're indecisive they don't know what they want and then when you do one thing now where it comes to money and where it comes to payment in this situation you have the opportunity as a client who's paying to speak up and to say what you need right I've laid down rules that be prior to you booking where you have an understanding that look you confirm your hair I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to follow through with what I'm saying I'm going to show you your hair I'm going to show you each step of the way if you see something you don't like I'm going to show you I've improved the quality of my work and the quality of capturing my work so it's very clear and upfront If you don't like it, you say you don't like it or you say what you want adjusted and we move forward. If you confirm and you move forward and you even and then you pay, you understand you're confirming that you're satisfied with your hair now to go home and then to not even communicate with not give me a call, not text me, just go straight to rant and leave a review. I think that it could have been handled a lot differently you know and it shows that there was a I don't know if it was a fair to directly communicate with me but the most mature thing to do is to reach out to the stylist and say hey look I don't like my hair and I'm not happy or I feel really upset that I'm not satisfied do that first And then maybe if you have issues, then you can go ahead and take it further if you want to be heard. But the first thing to do is to reach out to the person who did it directly. That's the most mature thing to do and say, I paid for this, but I'm still not satisfied. And then you can express the issue. You don't just go out on a rant and try to tear down someone's character or their name. And it also is really bad for the relationship because when you do something like that, it's hard to reestablish that relationship after responding that way because what ends up happening, something as simple as, hey, Martika, I don't like my hair. And I'll be like, oh my God, hey, let me try and fix it. Okay, what's the issue? I could have been very accommodating. Now, like really bad mouthing someone it really doesn't give the person the urge to want to take you take on the service anymore. So these are just a little heads up. As important as it is as a service provider to show clients respect, it's also important for clients to show service providers respect if you need something and you want something done. Because at the end of the day, you need the help and that's why you're reaching out. Because if you didn't need the help, you wouldn't reach out. So it's just a basic level of, communication and respect and you know resolving minor issues that don't have to blow up into something bigger so you know I have seen things like this happen in the past and 
I have experienced this within my own personal life as well. And that's why I have experienced and I've learned from these experiences. And I understand, you know, just being forward and just saying, you know, I don't like this. I don't like something and communicating then if someone is giving you pushback then you can take it a, a, a step higher in an appropriate way where you can be heard and seen and understood